today we're going to make a patty melt and uh, I hope you'll enjoy this video and watch it till the end. Uh, these are the ingredients that we're going to be needing. I'll explain to you as we go along but just wanted to show you what we're going to be putting in. Let's begin. So we're going to put some butter in the pan. This is to fry the onions. start making the patties. So angle some ground beef. Some salt. Some paprika. This is not spicy at all. Cayenne, this is spicy. This is some hydrate, dehydrated onions. Gives a good flavor. And we're gonna add some oatmeal. What oatmeal does to the patties is makes it really um, soft and not rubbery. You guys should all try it. It comes out really good. And that's it, we can mix it up. Best way is to do it with your hands. nice and mixed together. Now we gotta form the patties. And we're gonna make kind of an oval shape because that's kind of how the breads are shaped. So here's one. Good shape. You can lay it here on the parchment paper and work on the second one. So I took some portobello mushrooms. The mushroom is optional. You don't really need to have this in this dish, but I just had it, so I'm going to put it in. And you really need to get these onions really nice and caramelized, along with the mushrooms. Put some salt on the mushrooms. Okay, now it's time to grill some patties. The pan has been heating up. It's pretty hot. You want to hear that sound? Onions are going good here. Smells good. It's time to flip it. Uh, you probably have to cook it for about three to four minutes on each side. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, looks good. I'm going to 
cover this for, for the remaining part of the cake. So it's been about eight minutes, four minutes on each side. It looks like it should be ready. Let's check it out. Now this is about a medium well. Okay, you could take it off of the grill and let it rest for a little bit. balsamic vinegar. That's it. Let's cut the sandwich and see how we did. Looks good. Here we have it. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website at lucycooking.com. That's it. I'll see you soon.